Hey, Miss Sams. Yeah. You know, it's graduation day here it in Little Park. It is. And so we're about to head to graduation. We are. And so we're in my car here. We're going to drive down. But we mm -hmm. figured this would be a good opportunity to utilize a nifty little tool that happens to be in my car. What is that tool? It's the carmometer. The carmometer. The carmometer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we should talk about the carmometer. So yeah. what is it? What the heck is a carmometer? It's a thermometer for my car. Oh, I see. It just tells you what it is outside. So when you're inside and the air conditioner is cranked and it's 108 when you're, you know, driving in LA. Oh, or something. you can see. So what's the what's the temperature in the car? Well, let's grab the camera. We'll oh, find okay. out. All right, I see. Okay. So see all the car seats. I have twins, by the way. That's yes, why I have two car yes, seats there, and that's yeah. for my son. This is a really big car. Oh, that's huge. We had to get a bigger car when we had twins. Oh, all I right. see. It looks like it's 59, 59 degrees. 59 degrees outside. That's pretty cold. It's May. Yeah, that's, that's Fahrenheit. May 22nd. May 22nd, 59 degrees. See, it's kind of overcast and it's rained all night and yeah. kind of gross like that. Now, let's uh, look at a couple other things in the car. Right above there, we have the mileage. That's my little trip counter. 195.2. That's how many miles I've driven. That'd be like a quantitative measurement. Yeah, right? that's that's how far I've driven since I got gas last time. Yeah. Um, over here, we have RPMs, rotations per minute. That's how fast my engine is turning over. Yeah. Okay. That's quantitative. My, um, yeah. my, my, my gas gauge there, it's right on half. Well, that's kind of just quality. Yeah, that's kind of qualitative. Yeah. Okay, we, we don't know how many gallons are in there. Now, yeah. I do because I know I have a 22-gallon tank. If it's half full, yeah. I've got 11 gallons in there, so I can Ish. do some mash. No, yeah. To probably one significant digit. You're right. Now, there's some, uh, my the temperature of my engine that yeah. says cold and hot. Yeah. So that's a qualitative measurement. Yeah. Okay. Over here, we've got my miles per hour. Ooh, cool. speed. Yeah, so we have an, a unit divided by another unit. Yeah, okay. so that's like distance. And yeah, time. and then in the gray numbers there, I have km per h, kilometers per oh, hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another measurement. Yeah, it is. So, so I've got lots of measurements in the car that you don't really think about. Yeah. Uh, but but there they are, and we're going to talk to you about them in this a little bit more in this, in this lesson. So we will see you, um, well, yeah, let's just keep going All and right. let's learn about it. So as you can see, we're going to talk about the what's called the SI system. Yes. And, and that's kind of redundant, actually, because the S and SI stands for system. I know. It's kind of like going to the ATM machine. Why is the ATM machine going to the ATM? Oh, because M the machine. M is machine. There you the go. automated teller machine machine. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, we're going to talk about dimensions, as we talked about in the uh, little uh, webcam thing here just before. Yeah. That we've got different... Um, Quantities. Yes. Now, these are the kind of the basic quantities that are measured in the world. Right. Length. Now, in the SI system, the System International yes. is what it's called. It's French, French. I think. Yeah. French. Well, that's where the standards live. The standards live in Paris. The standard kilogram, the standard yeah. meter, they're made out of platinum and they live in Paris somewhere. Paris. All right. And then we've also, so it, the symbol is the meter. Now, in the non SI system, we can also measure length in other yeah. units. Yeah. Inches. Inches, yeah. Uh, furlongs. Furlongs. I don't know, some other ones, feet, stuff feet, like that. Yeah. Et cetera. So, yeah. uh, by the way, on this table, you should copy this table down into your notes. Yeah. Okay, so you're probably going to hit pause a couple of times. Yep. All right, volume is an interesting one. Volume, um, here's volume right mm -hmm. here. And the SI system is actually called a cubic meter. Yeah, it derives it from length. Yeah, so actually, volume is a strange one. It's actually. It's not considered a fundamental quantity. No, it's a it's complex. Actually, it's, it's a complex one. So the actual unit is meter cubed for right. volume. Now, most often in chemistry land, though, we measure things in liters. Yeah. So liters, which is an L. So that would be yep. an example and of a non And often SI. milliliters as well. Also mil yes. milliliters, which, of course, symbol is little m big L. Yep. All right. Okay. In mass... Um, most of you kind of, this is kind of like the metric system, maybe you learned that in elementary school yeah. or something like that, but it's a little bit different in that yeah. you've probably learned that the unit for mass is a gram, but in the SI system, the scientific system, it's actually a kilogram. Right. Other but we SI, still use grams. Yes. Yeah. The other system, uh, certainly grams is a non-SI system, and but that's a G, I should say M is. Yeah. Okay. Or um, pounds, pounds, sort of. Pounds is actually a measurement of weight versus mass, and we'll talk about the difference of so that. So for L pounds is LB, so LB, it's kind of weird. Yes, libras or something like that in Latin. Yeah. And so... Um, it has to do with scales and being fair. Yeah. Okay. Density is grams per uh, centimeter cubed. Yep. And uh, and that's the, or, that's or the density. Cubic centimeter. That's or cubic centimeter. Oh, there we go. And so grams per centimeter cubed, that's, mm -hmm. the, that's the SI now, system. You can measure density in any unit of mass over any unit of volume. How about pounds per foot cubed? That's a weird Perfect. one. Perfect. So if I had one pound, or if I had one cubic foot of something, how much would it weigh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and temperature is a weird one. It's something called the Kelvin system. Yeah. We're going to talk some more about that. You've mm -hmm. probably heard of Celsius. Uh-huh. 
and that's degrees C, yeah. or you might have heard uh, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. And that's degrees F. Now notice there's no degree sign in front of the K for Kelvin. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not degrees Kelvin, it's just Kelvin. Kelvin. Okay, and we've got some more time. Mm -hmm. We uh, measure time oftentimes. The main unit is seconds, yep. not minutes or hours. Nope. So a non-SI unit would be minutes or hours. Pressure is something called a Pascal. Okay, there's also ones, we're going to also use one thing called ATMs, ATMs or millimeters of mercury. Yeah. And we'll talk about that, oh, much later in the year. So yeah. ATMs, it stands for atmospheres. Yeah, like one atmosphere of pressure will be the pressure at sea level. Yep. We live at high altitude, if you are our student, then you know that. Uh, the atmospheric pressure here in the park is about 0.75 atmospheres. Yeah, so roughly three-fourths of that what it is at sea level. Yeah. That what it is. That will teach English. Bleh, 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 bleh. We can't talk today. Yeah, yeah. All right, we, this is the fourth podcast in a row. All right, <laughs> uh, joules. Yeah. Joules is uh, energy. energy. Yeah. You also measure that in calories. Yeah. Oh, I said energy. I should say yeah. calories here. That's right. Yeah. Uh, calories, yeah. I, I had uh, my vitamin water. Actually, yeah. right here. My vitamin water says it has, uh, I don't know what it says. It's got uh, some calories in it. Ten calories. Ten calories? Ten calories. So that's actually a kilocalories. That's actually 10,000 calories. There you go. Program. I know, but that's actually a very small amount. So yeah. an amount. This is an interesting one. This is a very, very important unit in chemistry land. Yeah. We're going to learn about something called the mole. And oddly, the unit for mole or the symbol for mole is it's little mole. m, little o, little l. You don't mole. put the e. You just drop the e because I guess we're lazy. Uh, lazy. We're lazy. We no. can't use an m because no. that's a meter. Yeah. So we put mole. Now we other do ml. Other yeah, we could do ML, but that's, but that's milliliters. milliliters yeah. yeah, so that's small. Other amounts that you have commonly uh, encountered would be like a dozen. Yeah. Or a ream, like a ream of paper. Yeah. Or a pair. Yeah. Okay? We use moles, and we'll talk more about that yeah. later. Yeah, much, very important topic. And lastly, uh, electric current is an amp. Yep. And uh, that's just uh, another big one. Big A. Yeah, big A. Okay. That's people who